Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this one, I'm going to show you how you know if a sports betting site or casino is legitimate. Now, this is a question lots of people have. We at Profit Gateway only ever recommend legit sports books and casinos that we know that you know will keep your money safe, they won't mess you around, and they'll pay you out nicely. Now, there's a few key things that give away whether a casino is reputable whether they're safe to use, or whether you should just avoid them completely. Now, I'm going to go over those today. And as always, if you want to get started making money out of sports books and casinos around the world, just jump in the description of this video and we'll get you set up straight away. So let's go ahead and do it, guys. So what makes a sports book reputable? Well, there's a couple of things that give it away. Um, the first we're going to start off is licensing. Now, some sports betting and casino sites don't have um onshore licenses. In other words, if you're using FanDuel in Michigan, for example, they'll need a license in Michigan to operate. So we're actually on FanDuel at the moment, and we've got the site up. This one is particular to New Jersey, this FanDuel site I've got loaded up. So that's why it says this site has been authorized by the state of New Jersey, Division of Gaming Enforcement for use by registered, uh, registered users physically present in New Jersey. So you don't need to actually live there, of course, with our methods. You just need to be there at the time. And you can use FanDuel and some other sites in, in different states and reuse their bonuses in some cases. But really what we're looking for that's important is the fact it says that this site has been authorized by the state of New Jersey, Division of Gaming Enforcement. So that means you're protected as a user if they decide to do anything with your money that you're not happy with. In other words, it's like having that big brother or that dad that protects you if um, your funds are being you know, taken advantage of, if they say we're not giving you your money, even though you won fair and square. You would go to the gaming enforcement and they would just put pressure on and they would get it back for you. And it's the same in the UK as well and other places around the world. You'll often see on those sites there are um, recommendations at the bottom and they'll tell you whether they are, you know, they have some kind of body that checks them, like a, a regulation, if you like. If it was financial, you might have the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, and various other bodies around the world. So basically, the point is, if you can see that there's someone regulating them, you've always got that second chance. Now, normally, the most reputable sites we recommend won't get to the point where they're stealing your money. That's basically just unheard of, and we wouldn't recommend them if they did. But that's just how you know that they're reputable. Now, if you go on a site like BetUS, for example, the scenario changes slightly. And there's a couple of ways you can actually um, understand whether they're going to be useful to you or they're recommended. So, for example, BetUS, you can see it's 1994 to 2023. Okay. And they're ran by people who, you know, they're not sort of dodgy. You can see that they've got you know, more or less 30 years of uh, being in the market. So that's number one. You can see they're reputable because they've had 30 years experience. Now, there is another license they can get, which is the gaming at Curacao, the Curacao Gaming Authority. There's the Malta Gaming Authority. There's various authorities that regulate these sites as well. They're just located in different places. But you can see that they've gone for 30 years. The site looks pretty well um, and they've got reasonable reviews. So the chance of them... Uh, taking your money is really low, even though they're not regulated by the New Jersey board, for example, or something like that, the gaming enforcement in uh, Michigan or Colorado or wherever it may be. So you know there's millions of people using this. You can also look at the traffic to their site. You can see how many signups they've got, how many people are betting. So really, you just need to stick in with their terms and things will be fine. Uh, it doesn't matter that they're not regulated by you know, the bodies that I just mentioned. Um, but yeah, so if they've had a long history and they've got lots of members playing on their site, it's very likely you'll be fine. If you're going to a back-end website on the back of the internet, some dark alley sort of thing, and there's hardly anyone using it and they're not regulated, then you're going to have trouble. But as long as they've got a reputable and a good reputation, like you can see here, usually okay. Now, if I flick onto a site like BetMGM as well, you can see if I scroll to the bottom, it's going to say we're licensed by the Colorado Division of Gaming as an internet sports better. So again, that regulation gives you that protection so that you can complain if you need to. 
Okay, BetMGM are quite reliable. And generally, as long as you're using the most popular sites, okay, sites people use, you're going to be quite safe. You, the point of this video really is to deter you from using anything back end, okay, anything just out there in outer space on the internet that isn't really used by a lot of people because you might find that they want your money more or they don't have as much and they need to take it off people. So just be careful of that. If they don't have reputation, don't use them more or less. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that really helps. Uh, there's a few things to look at there just to make sure you're okay on your US sites and Canada sites. We'll cover more in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you there.